So, Will, the first hand command, it's fair to say it was a grower. Um, how much pressure were you under, if any, from the studio to make the second one a bit more mainstream? Uh, zero. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, they were just excited that we even wanted to do it. And, uh, um, but, but from a creative standpoint, they literally were... I don't think there was one note. Uh, we just turned in the script and... Uh, and in fact, the the shoot the start date was already set before, I think the script was written. Uh, so, so yeah, there was no, uh, there was none of that. There was such a clamor for the second one. Yeah. Um, and it just kept on building, didn't it? What, what was yeah. it like for you? Because you you you'd popped up as Burgundy a couple of times. Sure. When yeah. When you saw the rest of the cast, all the in you know costume and stuff, but was it was it a good moment? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't know if you've talked with any of the other guys yet but uh we we did this uh promotional teaser of just kind of saying we're back and we got together that day to to, to shoot it and uh there was it was really kind of a joyous day to see all of us back in costume and uh and and it, it really solidified the feeling of gosh we're gonna make this uh and um it's a unique group that you know we we kind of uh, share the same comedic sensibility. We we know how to work with one another really well, and uh, it's as close to being a part of like almost a comedy troupe as I've ever been a part of, uh, especially for a film. And it's quite a surreal edge uh, to Anchorman. I mean, it had to, to the troupe. It, I mean, is it? Do you think it's British in sensibility? Is it sort of like Python? I guess it's rem Yeah, I guess it's uh, because it's. You know, we have our story, but we're we're never afraid to make that left turn, and which is very Python esque, I think. Uh, uh, and then we get back on the story, uh, and and I think the first one also too was, it had all these little moments that you didn't see the first time you saw it, uh, and and for that, for an audience to to get to discover that, that leads to ownership of the film in my opinion. Uh, it has a chaotic feel. Yeah. Uh, both of them. I mean, how much, I mean, do you get like a bit annoyed at that? Because obviously, you, you know, you, you take a long time writing this and, you know, it, it, you don't turn up and just have a few jokes with your mates because it's organized chaos. It's organized chaos. Uh, and, I, and I think uh, Adam and I are probably the least precious writers you'll ever find because we could, uh, It. I think it gives off the appearance that we're not diligent about the script. You know, I think there's, there's an attitude we get asked all, all the time. Is there a script? <laughs> yes, yeah. there is. And it's really thick. And it's well. really thick. Yeah, and and we work on it for a while, and we, we have table reads and hear it out loud, and go back and rewrite and do all this. We have a, we have a, a, a process that we follow. Um, that having been said, uh, we will throw out anything that we've written, if someone on that day comes up with a funnier line and. And why wouldn't you have that attitude? Now, I know why, because people want to be able to say, I wrote every single thing. But we, we just, we don't care. We just want to make uh, the funniest version. Much of the success of the first movie, and I'm, I'm guessing why this second one's being made, is that the quotes yeah. actually entered into sort of international consciousness. It's crazy, so, yeah. Um, milk, such a bad choice. <laughs> San Diego, you stay classy. Right, right, right. 60% of the time. Oh, it were, yeah, well, yeah, it, yeah, yeah. I mean, is there anything in this second movie that, that you've, you've pinpointed for a t-shirt in, in three years' time? Uh, it, well, be, because of the point you're making, the, those are such bizarre things to, to think that would actually become quotable. So it's so hard to figure out. You know, there's, it's not like we wrote that first script or, or, you know, once we edited the movie, we were sitting back going, you just watch. I love lamp. Will it break? I love lamp. Will be on a T-shirt. Uh, there's no way of predicting that. Uh, so, the honest answer is no. We have no idea. You know, w someone suggested me in this second one the that uh, I'm blind might start getting, but I don't know. What about a line like um, by the hymen of Olivia Newton-John? <laughs> it could be. I mean, it... <laughs> I mean, we have a line like that that. Um, Close to the boat. I mean, literally. Um, do you think this is too far? This cannot make the movie. Are there lines you think it's never going to make the cut? There's always uh, no. I mean, it, it, it just because you. 
with comedy, regardless of of whether it's a line that's too provocative or whether it's just something that makes people laugh or not, you just never know. Uh, th there are times when you'll film something and everyone falls out on the floor when you yell cut, laughing, saying, that's the funniest thing I've ever seen. And it, you put it up in front of an audience and no one laughs and vice versa. So, uh, you know, we just, we just throw everything out there. We, uh, you know, we try to set up an environment where you feel safe to fail. And that's what, that's the goal is to fail. <laughs> and, and that 20% of the time you'll, you'll hit it right. And so, so you really don't know. Does that make it interesting for you though, that in two years time, it'll just be on TV and DVDs that you'll find out what- Well, that's what exactly. And, and that's what, it, it, it takes a while for these things to percolate. And, and, and that's exactly what will happen. It'll be uh, um, uh, a year from now, two years from now, when people start, uh, hopefully, knock on wood, that people will start coming up and saying, saying things that I probably will go, it won't register with me at first. I'll be like, I'm sorry, what is that? Oh, right, right, from Anchorman, yeah. Oh, thanks. <laughs> and just finally, Will, um, every time I interviewed a member of the Anchorman cast over yeah. the last three, four years, I was like, are you can do a sequel? Yes. Uh, and now everyone, I'm guessing, is going, you know, do you feel any pressure? That this is Absolutely, that's the exact pattern, yeah. Uh, are you ready for the next stage of your life and everyone's gonna be going, and I'm doing it once, right now? <laughs> are you gonna make it third? <laughs> Do it again. Uh, you know what? We are uh, we are pleading the fifth. We are we are kind of just we want to kind of live in the moment and see how this one does and uh, see how it registers with people, and then we'll decide from there.